Okay, let's have a look at the melody for How Great Thou Art. We're in the key of B flat, which means there are two flats in our key signature. The first flat says all the Bs are flat, whether it's this B flat, this B flat, or even that B flat. And the second flat, the higher one, says all the E's are flat in this song. So this E flat and this E flat and any other E flat on the guitar. So um, first, let's hear the melody and then we can talk about some of the particulars of the song. Um, one and two and three and four and one. counting one and two and three really comes in here. Now, you you may just try to get the notes down at first because you're dealing with all these flats. Then you can go back and count and really hold on to those um, half notes and the half notes that are tied to eighth notes and, and uh, so forth. Really makes the song sound um, beautiful when you do that. Okay, so uh, let's talk about these flats again. E flat, right? You have an E, it's an open string. How do you flat an open string? You go to the next string down and you try to find a note that sounds like open string one. Not, not fret one, not two, not three, not four, but five. String two fret five sounds just like open string one. So E flat, there you go, you go Flat means that way on the guitar, to your left, because the pitch is going down. That's what flat means, the pitch is going down one semitone or on the guitar one fret. So here's your E flat string, two fret four. Your other E flat, well here's an E, right? String four fret two. And there's your other E flat string four fret one. That one's a little easier because your E is here, your E flat is there. Uh, and then B flats. We have the same problem. Open string two is B. How do you flat that? Well, you have to find a note that sounds like open string two on, on uh, string three. Let's see, is it fret one? No. Two, three, no. Bingo. String three, fret four. So to flat that, you go one fret to your left. That's a flat. The pitch is going down as you go to your left. There's your B flat string, three fret three. And I would get that with my third or ring finger there. And I would try to get this E flat with my pinky string, two fret four, if it's possible. If not, you can grab it with your third finger too. So there's the flat problem. Now, I did notice also when the words of the song goes, then sings my soul then sings my soul, you can use um, a nice fingering to facilitate that difficult transition because you have three notes all in the same fret, F, F, B flat, D. Now the tendency is going to be to use your third finger for all those notes. You can do it, but it sounds kind of choppy. Listen again. Da, 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 da. Instead of... Now, oh, how did I make that sound so connected like that. Well, I use my second finger for F, my third finger for B flat, and my pinky for D. Then you don't get this dot, 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 staccato, connected, or legato. Um, 
So that's, you can use that there. Uh, then sings my soul. Same thing happens some other place in the song. Where is that? Um, oh, there's, there's another then sings my soul. It gets repeated in the chorus of the, the hymn. So that happens in the fifth line down as well. Um, and my Savior God to thee, that, that's a rather difficult passage there. A uh, soul, that'll take some extra practice all by itself. And sing my soul, um, it's beautiful, but it and it's worth it's worth the trouble. So give, give that part some extra practice. That then sings my soul, my Savior God is, is uh, to thee. That that part, um, and then this last little section. Hmm, that's a tricky little passage right there too. D E flat. take a little bit of um, doing too at the end there so just a, just a few practice points um, but have fun with uh, how great thou art and watch those flats they, they can get you um, so practice hard well have fun we'll see you next time thanks for watching